going on people? My name is Atraxian. Today boys and girls we have got new weapons that have been added into Infinite Warfare and have been in Total Alliance boys and girls. They look pretty damn insane. If you guys enjoy the video remember to smash that like button down below and of course if you want to my channel boys and girls remember to subscribe for more daily Call of Duty content. Before we get into this video I just want to say a massive massive sorry for not uploading over the past couple of days. I've actually been suffering with an eye infection and I haven't really been playing any Playstation or being on my actual computer so I do apologise for the lack of uploads boys and girls but as of now we have actually got three weeks worth of uploads of videos every day. But without further ado boys and girls do be sure to put your feet up, have a bicky and enjoy and let's jump straight into it. Right boys girls, so we're actually in creator class at the moment. I actually haven't got any of these weapons unlocked as of yet. But you can get them not only through supply drops, but you can get them by taking a look at some of these challenges. So the first new weapon that is in Infinite Warfare is called the RVN. It's an assault rifle, which is a two round burst, auto fire, energy rifle, whole triangle to split the rifle into melee mode for faster movement and one hit kills. Now as you can see boys girls at the bottom of your screens, Challenge requirements. Kill 200 enemies with energy based assault rifles and an accessory earned through weapon prestige. It looks pretty damn insane, boys, guys, but we can have a look at four of the variants that you can get from the Quartermaster. Right, so you can only unlock these variants, boys, girls, through either supply drops or zombie crates. So starting off, we have the RVN Tickler, and the actual perk for this weapon is Sharpshooter, increased damage range, which obviously sucks with particle lamps. As for the rare sort of variant, we have the RVM Brain Case Bruiser. And the two perks for this gun is Head Rush and Lights Out. And Head Rush basically means headshot kills grant and spore bonus to your payload meter. And Lights Out means an increased weapon melee speed. That looks like a pretty damn insane variant, but take a look at the duality variant of the RVM, which is obviously a legendary variant. Uh, as for the perks for this weapon, Dynamic and Focus. Uh, dynamic is kills in alternating modes, grant bonus score. I'm not too sure what that means, I actually don't have any sort of weapons, I don't think in Infinite Warfare with the Dynamic perk on, but as a Focus, reduced idle sway while aiming down sights. So yet again, looks like a very, very nice gun. I do like the sort of pattern they've got going on for the legendary variant on the actual weapon. It looks pretty damn insane if I do say so myself, boys. But as for the epic variant of the RVN, we have the RVN Blowout, and this looks absolutely insane, boys and girls. So for the first part, we have Overcharge, Melee kills in alt mode, create a cone explosion, which, you know, it's basically going to be punching someone and throwing a grenade at them at the same time. And stability is obviously reduced recoil, which stacks with foregrip. And this gun, well, should I say, this variant of the RVN looks damn insane. If you put a full grip on this weapon along with the stability part that's already on this weapon, you are going to be one of the most accurate players and one of the, you're going to have one of the most accurate assault rifles we've ever seen in Infinite Warfare. The other new branch weapon that's in the game, boys and girls, is the UDM. This is a full auto ballistic pistol built from modular pieces. This config has a slow fire rate but high damage that is effective at long range. So basically, boys and girls, you're not going to get much luck by using this weapon at sort of like close range gun battles. But at the long range gun battles, you're going to be popping people's heads off for absolute days. But as for the challenge requirements, kill 200 enemies with pistols with an optic equipped and an accessory earned through weapon prestige. So I think what this means is you have to prestige the weapon and have an optic equipped and kill 200 people to actually unlock this weapon. Just like we did for the RVM boys guys, we're going to take a look at four of the variants that we can actually get for the UDM pistol. Right, so starting off, we have a common variant, the UDM fleet. Basically, this only has one perk, same as I think it was for the Tickler on the RVM variant. Uh, readiness, this is the perk for the UDM fleet. Reload faster when mag is empty, which obviously stacks with dexterity. Not a bad perk to have for a common variant of a weapon, but as for the rare variant of the UDM, we have the UDM Bonazza. Perks for this weapon is jackpot and stockpile. Obviously, boys and girls, jackpot has been in the game so, so long now. Jackpot means uh, each kill grants an additional 10% score, so an extra 10 points for every kill, because every kill in Infinite Warfare is 100 points. As for stockpile, you actually have increased ammo, which obviously stacks with extending mags. I actually see stockpile quite a lot on m most of the weapon variants in Infinite Warfare, as a matter of fact. But as for the legendary variant for the UDM, we have the UDM Mod 3. The two perks for this gun is Hitman and Creeper. Hitman, killing enemy player grants a large bonus to your payload. That's for Creeper, increases movement speed whilst crouched. He's not the best of perks to have on a legendary variant of a weapon, 
But, you know, I'll take it to legendary variant. And as for the epic variant, we have the UDM Stalker. Now, this is probably the best variant of all of the new weapons that have been added into Infinite Warfare. So, check this out. So, for the first perk for the UDM Stalker, we have Sniper Mod. Modifies this weapon into a single fire sniper pistol. I've never seen that ever before in a Call of Duty game. Yes, you've been able to sort of add um, ACOG scopes in on uh, past Call of Duty games, but to actually have a variant of a pistol that is basically a sniper rifle is absolutely insane. But as for the second part, we have readiness. We go faster when Mag is empty, which you know, as we've said like a hundred times this video, it stacks with dexterity. Moving on to the last weapon that's been adding into Infinite Warfare, boys and girls, we have the axe, which is like in the past three or four Call of Duty games. So as you guys know, it is a standard wood axe, perfect for making kindling out of your enemies. And as far as I'm aware, you can't actually get this from zombie crates. I'm not too sure on that. And you can't actually get it through unlocking any challenges like we did with the um, assault rifle and a new pistol that's been added into the game. But we only have one variant of this weapon that we can take a look at boys and girls. And that is the axe. Headsman. The first perk for this weapon is hull. You can throw the axe and get it can then be picked back up, which is going to be absolutely insane. Imagine running after someone, they've got no chance of surviving, just throw an axe at them. That would just be absolutely insane, boys. I'd love to get this variant, but I bet yeah, any money, it'd be pretty damn fun to do a free for all video just using the axe headsman. But as for the last perk for the headsman, we have haste, slightly increased movement speed. So you basically you basically got momentum on if you're being entirely honest boys and girls. So very nice perk to have for a melee weapon if I'm being entirely honest. But yeah, that is the axe headsman I guess. But that is it for this video boys and girls. There are three of the new weapons that have been added into Infinite Warfare literally within the past half hour. I'm so so excited to get the new assault rifle, the new axe and the new pistol. They all look absolutely insane. Fingers crossed. When I do a supply drop hopefully Mitch will probably be bringing you guys over the next two or three days. Uh, we get one of these weapons and you know we can have a ton of fun getting them. Let me know in the comment section down below boys and girls if you guys got your hands on any of these new weapons yet. And if you have tell me what the likes, I'd like to hear all of your feedback on new stuff that's added into new Call of Duty games. But as always boys and girls, hope you have enjoyed the video. Remember if you have, leave a like down below and if you want to the channel, remember to subscribe down below as well. And and as always, thank you all for watching. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And I shall be back soon with a brand new video.